Hi, this is Professor June Cahigal and I would like to welcome everybody to this uh, lecture entitled Technology Integration in the 21st Century Classroom. Now, uh, this topic is quite relevant, timely, because of the COVID-19 pandemic that we are experiencing right now. And as educators, we need to ask ourselves how technology can support teacher student success during this COVID-19 pandemic. Now, this COVID-19 pandemic is prompting many schools to abruptly and comprehensively adapt online learning, remote work, and other activities to help contain the spread of the virus. So, this lecture would help both the teacher and the students to study options on how to integrate technology during this COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so I'm sure you have encountered this term technology integration. So, technology integration as teachers to teach in ways they were never taught using tools that were not invented when they were in school okay you know when i started my teaching career the only tools available are the overhead projector or ohp transparencies even manila paper nagamit ko po yan pictures from magazines pag may laptop ka tiba tiba ka na but now i need to learn available tools like the use of powerpoint presentations the internet youtube facebook so i have to keep up with the latest technology available for use in the classroom in education also technology integration asks teachers to be innovative content driven and process oriented to ultimately improve student achievement okay so what is the goal of technology integration uh, now the goal of technology integration is to use technology seamlessly in the classroom so that the technology itself is invisible in support of learning a standard based curriculum so ang ibilang sabihin po neto uh, the technology that is available would serve only as a tool ano lang po siya tool lang siya and it is still the teacher who would be the limelight the the focal point in the classroom okay Employing technology in the classroom provides a variety of new ways of learning and in the process fosters what independent thinking of the students, problem solving, and collaborative learning. Okay, so the bottom line here is that implementing technology uh, to accomplish greater learning and improvement of academic achievement so that is the uh, bottom line of using technology in times like this to accomplish greater learning and improve academic achievement so when a teacher integrates technology into his or her teaching then what now for example in science students can test scientific theories with simulations students can find ways to prove ideas with multimedia and collect environmental data with hands-on experiments also students can make, make use of the internet to experience the world to virtual field trips and find information to prove almost any point of view they can also exercise their creativity with what with art with writing with music software 
and more. So, maraming magagawa ang estudyante using the internet, which we will explain later. Now, all of these opportunities would mean using technology as a tool to promote content learning. So, ang technology po ay tool lamang po. Still, the teacher serves as the focal point in the teaching learning process. Okay, now I would like to zoom in on the so-called pieces of technology integration puzzle. So, in this uh, integration puzzle, there are four elements. Okay, so first we have the teacher as uh, an element in the technology integration puzzle. Then we have the student, the tech tools, and last we have the content. Okay, so isa-isahin po natin sila starting with the teacher. That's our first piece in the technology integration puzzle. So the teacher. So using technology in the classroom changes the classroom structure, the classroom operation, and even the management itself. Okay, so dapat maisip to ng teacher. So pag ginamit yung technology, it will change everything. The classroom structure, uh, the operation, and its management. Teachers learn to become a guide on the side. Pag ginamit po ang technology, teachers learn to become a guide on the side rather than a sage on the stage. So ibig sabihin po, ang teacher nagiging parang facilitator na lang siya when using technology as a tool. Okay? So, the teacher um, gets involved also in changes in the teaching philosophy and also using technology, the teacher changes the way he or she teaches. Okay, so I would like to zoom in now on the mistakes that teachers make with using technology. Now, probably the biggest mistake that teachers make with using technology is not backing up data or not backing up computer files. Okay, so a teacher must have two copies of his or her important files or documents on probably two or more computers. Kasi hindi po natin masabi po, baka masira yung computer ninyo, nandun lahat, or laptop, nandun lahat yung mga files. So, at least you have stored your important documents, your lesson plans, your PowerPoints uh, on two or more computers or laptops. Or, um, you have copies of your files on several flash drives. Okay? Huwag pa tayong umasa sa iisang flash drive lang because we may never know, baka makorap po yung flash drive na yan. So, it is important that our PowerPoint presentations, our lesson plans, our unit plans are stored in several flash drives or two or more computers or laptops para pag nasira yung laptop at least meron kang uh, backup file naku napakasakit po pag wala kayong backup files then nagkorap yung computer ninyo naku napakasakit po yan sa isang teacher okay alright so that's uh, one big mistake not backing up data okay uh, another mistake that teachers make with technology is they treat the computer the school computer as a home computer okay uh, wag po natin gawin yan so yung school computer for school use okay uh, wag natin gamitin yung computer sa school to what uh, to run a business or we make use of the school computer to edit our kids videos or probably send some tasteless jokes to our colleagues so that's not a good idea okay so 
let's treat the school computer as a tool for teaching. So, wag natin gamitin po yung school computer like a home computer. Okay? Now, another mistake that teachers make with technology is that they fail to supervise computer using students not supervising computer using students that's a big mistake now it is a mistake to believe internet filters will keep the students out of trouble when using the internet nako wag nating yes you mag tayong magtiwala po sa mga internet filters na yan even slow kids who cannot get around the school filter Nako, matakinik nyo mga yan They can exploit uh, porn sites that the filter won't catch Maraming pwedeng gawin ng mga estudyante natin ngayon Matitinik po yung mga yan Mas magaling pa sila mag-computer kaysa sa atin So, pag hindi nyo sila sinusupervise, hindi nyo sila tinitignan Nako, baka kung ano-ano na po yung ina-access nila Like porn sites or dating sites, mga ganyan or they can send cyberbullying email or maybe even using your own email address no, diba? so it's a big mistake not to supervise our computer using students okay kahit na po yung school may filter Ayan, we, we still must supervise our students Kasi mas magaling po, aminin po natin, mas magaling ang mga estudyante natin sa computers as compared to us. So, they can go around uh, the school filter. Okay, so another mistake that teachers make with technology is that thinking online communication is ever private. So, your Facebook page will be looked at by the school board chair or your superintendent or your principal nako, hindi po yan private makikita po yan kung ano-ano po yung mga pinapost natin makikita yan ng, ng iyong boss ng coordinator or yung superintendent or yung principal so it is a mistake uh, to assume okay, that uh, everyone that can see what you send or do is private na mistake po yan so assume na, na that your principal can or your superintendent can see what you send or do online okay alright another mistake that teachers make with technology is that believing that one's teaching style need not change to take full advantage of technology so mistake po yan so magbabago po yung ating teaching style okay using technology to add sounds or pictures to lectures is a mistake hindi po ganyan ang technology Nako, mas malawak pa po ang technology the world has changed and it is rank uh, a mistake not to recognize it and change as well so habang nagde-develop po ang technology eh, dapat po nagbabago po ang ating teaching style to take full advantage of technology okay another mistake that teachers make with technology is that ignoring the intrinsic interest of technology use in today's kids Ako, huwag po nating ignore po yung, yung interest sa technology sa mga bata po natin. Why? Because kids like technology. Ako, gustong gusto po nila yan. Okay? Halos buong oras po nila. Nakatutok po sila sa cellphone, sa computer. So, not using technology as a hook or to motivate or to attract interest in them using technology is a mistake so dapat po gamitin natin ang technology as a hook to motivate and instill interest in our students in their education kasi nandyan na po yan so i-maximize po natin yung technology 
Okay, and lastly, uh, another mistake that teachers make with technology is that thinking that technology will go away in schools. Nako, malaking mistake po yan. Technology will remain in our schools. So, it is a mistake to think that technology will go away in education. Nako, hindi. In banking, in medicine, business, science, agriculture, and everywhere else in society, nandyan po ang technology. So, thinking that technology will pass is a mistake. So, technology will remain in our educational system. Okay. So, technology won't make a poor teacher a good one. But, technology can make a teacher even better. And it can help make great teachers the ones that students remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah, pag gumamit tayong technology, tapos nagkaroon ng impact sa yung mga estudyante and they will remember you for the rest of their lives. Okay, technology can help make great teachers. Those are the ones that students remember for the rest of their lives. Okay, so that's the first piece in our technology integration puzzle, the teacher. Alright, the second piece is the student. Okay, so the student, the goal of technology integration is to use technology in the classroom so that it becomes a tool to help students learn new things in new ways and prepare for their future. So, yun po ang goal ng technology integration para sa mga estudyante natin. Uh, using technology in the classroom becomes a tool para matulungan po yung mga estudyante to learn new things and to prepare them for their future. Okay? So, these are just some of the technology standards for all students that includes six categories for addressing necessary technology skills. Like number one, basic operations and concepts. Number two, social, ethical, and human issues. Number three, technology productivity tools. Number four, technology communication tools. Number five, technology research tools. And number six, technology problem solving and decision making tools. What students want in a learning environment? So, our students, they want their teachers to have an in-depth knowledge in their field. And so, at least uh, computer literate po yung ating mga teachers, yun ang gusto po ng mga sujante natin in a learning environment. Also, students want their faculty to use technology effectively. Yung ability po ng faculty to use technology effectively. Yun, yun ang gusto po ng mga sujante natin. At alam po ng mga sujante natin, if we are effectively using technology, na sense po nila yan. And also, our students want that our teachers not to overuse the technology. So, they want uh, teachers not overusing the technology. So, nalalaman po ng mga estudyante po natin if the teacher is already overusing the technology. Okay. So, that's the piece uh, in the integration of technology the students alright now the third piece are the tech tools so what are the available tech tools that the teacher can use to make uh, teaching really effective so there are available tech tools for our teachers so one would be the use of the world wide web yung internet so, this is the new wave of innovation in teaching and learning. The use of the World Wide Web or Internet. 
okay so the internet has several services like social networking sites wikis communication tools like skype or zoom or lark that emphasize online collaboration and sharing among its users okay so let's first take uh, the use of google in the classroom ayan po madalas po nang gamitin ng teacher ang google and there are many google resources and applications that can be utilized in the classroom this is for communication for collaboration creativity and critical thinking using several google apps okay now one uh, google app which i use in the classroom is google earth and sa science madalas gamitin to utilizing google earth to take students on a virtual field trip around the world Yeah, so you can visit countries, you can study their geographical features. Yan po maganda po itong Google Earth. You can take your students on a virtual field trip using Google Earth. Okay? Another uh, Google application is SketchUp. Okay, probably you've heard of it, SketchUp. So, quickly building and creating 3D drawings and models using SketchUp. Okay, these drawings can be placed on Google Earth as a 3D image. Okay, that's what you call SketchUp. Okay, so another Google app is Picasa. Now, Picasa is a photo sharing app. Okay, you can share your photos with students and parents or embedding slideshows into your web page or blog or even your powerpoint so that's picasa okay another google application software is google chrome okay, i'm sure you, you know google chrome okay that's google's very first net browser okay then we have google docs so google docs uh, involves sharing documents with students and colleagues to collaborate on what, projects or assignments so that's google docs okay so i'm sure you're familiar with that another google application is google groups for collaboration and you can use this to collaborate discuss things with students colleagues and using experts using this google group discussion board okay all right so that's google group another google application is the google calendar okay so the google calendar create you can create a class calendar to post due dates for assignments okay so this is an example of a google calendar okay then we have google video Uh, search and watch millions of videos including forums personalized recommendations so that's google video okay then we have google books you can use this to search and preview millions of books from libraries publishers worldwide you know, that's google books okay and uh, another google application is google talk now google talk is google's approach to instant online communications google talk has an an in-browser chat functions tied to iGoogle and gmail pages but um, nowadays we make use of messenger chat diba? okay so those are some of the applications of google that we can make use for teaching and learning all right what about social networking sites so when we say social networking sites so this includes facebook and twitter for learning and for collaboration now remember this facebook is a social network tool we can make use of Facebook as a social network tool in education. 
Okay, Facebook is can be used as a framework for information or complex control of who can see what. Okay, also Facebook has users that have a profile with a picture and other personal details as as they wish, including limiting what certain people can see. Iba ganun ang Facebook. And Facebook as a social network tool is based on networks. Facebook creates a news feed. Alam niyo naman yan, based on what your friends are doing. Okay? Uh, Facebook has many features like meron siyang wall, uh, meron siyang inbox, okay, chat. Okay, uh, you can what? include friends on Facebook yeah, group chat okay may fan page uh, events photos and videos with tagging posted items and notes and some shared items okay and even applications so those are some of the many features of Facebook now how can we make uh, use of Facebook in the classroom now teachers can create a group for their class and strengthen the communication between teacher and the students yeah, that we can make use of Facebook in the classroom uh, with this the teachers can create a group for their class pwede siyang gumawa ng group group chat to strengthen the communication between the teacher and the students the teachers can also schedule events for the entire class using Facebook. Uh, also, Facebook in the classroom, the teacher can use message utility in Facebook to message students about unexpected absences, rescheduling exams, etc. And also, teachers can make use of Facebook to share multimedia content like videos, photos, clips, and more with the entire class. See? Okay. Also, using Facebook in the classroom, the teacher can post class notes for students to review in case they were absent. The teacher can use Facebook to involve students who are normally shy in the classroom. Yeah, pwede silang gumawa ng parang chat group doon. Then they can do some discussion on a particular topic. Okay? Also, Facebook in the classroom, teachers can use Facebook to send reminders, announcements, upcoming due dates, or any other classroom news. Sharing online content with students such as interesting websites, blogs, wikis, and more. Teachers can use Facebook also to encourage students to post their content of their own, such as their videos, their images, pictures, news stories, and other media that relate back to their lessons. Okay, now here are some Facebook tips for teachers. Number one, manage your privacy settings to keep your professional and private lives separate. Okay? You need to be diligent about policing what kind of photos are shared on Facebook. Ayan, so, dapat maging alisto tayo sa mga pinopost ng mga students natin. You need to give clear instructions to students on the kind of stuff to be shared on Facebook and you should teach students about netiquette protocols okay here are some Facebook tips for teachers also do not add students as friends on personal accounts and always maintain your distance okay then do not post personal comments about one's uh, children or pets etc unless they are relevant to the task or lesson at hand and do not get involved in the student's private life okay all right also twitter can also be used 
Now, Twitter is an online social networking and microblogging service that enables users to send, read tweets which are text messages limited to 140 characters. Okay, so that's Twitter. Now, we can make use of Twitter in the classroom. Okay, tweets about upcoming due dates or assignments can be used in the classroom. Teachers can use Twitter in their classroom, involves setting up a feed dedicated exclusively to due dates, tests, or quizzes. Okay, also we can make use of Twitter in the classroom by providing the class with a running news feed. Subscribe to different mainstream and independent news feeds with different biases as a way to compare and contrast how different perspectives interpret current events and issues. Also, Twitter in the classroom, you can create a career list by setting up an interesting assignment requesting that students set up Twitter list following feeds relevant to their career goals and keep a daily journal on many trends that crop up along the way. Also, Twitter in the classroom, you can connect with the community, partner up with local government or charitable organizations, and use Twitter to reach a broad audience discussing the latest cultural or educational events in the area and encourage others in the community to attend. And also, Twitter can be used in the classroom to write a story or a poem. Some, some educators may like the idea of asking their students to apply their creative uh, writing skills to a social media outlet. Okay, and using Twitter, you can ask questions. Teachers can use Twitter as a way for students to keep a running stream of questions during or after a lecture. Okay, teachers and students from around the world can also collaborate on certain topics using Twitter as a communication tool that simultaneously educates students in different classroom and cultural protocols. Okay, so those are some of the uses of uh, social media using Facebook and Twitter. Now, some concerns. Sometimes students tweet unimportant information. That's one concern. Also, some students, depending on their cell phone plan, can get charged if they set up tweets to be sent to their phones. So you have to make sure that they look into this first. And less time for actual conversation. And how these conversations often reduce self-centered statements. Okay, so those are some concerns using Facebook and Twitter. Now, what about Skype or even Zoom or Lark? Okay, now Zoom, Skype, and Lark, uh, they are free communication software that allows users to make calls, send instant messages, and do video conferencing online. Yeah, so, pwede gamitin to ng teacher sa kanang estudyante. Okay? Now, Skype, Zoom, Lark, they are easy and inexpensive way of communication between people, uh, teacher, students, even uh, students uh, all over the world. Open the door to a wide range of activities that can improve student engagement and comprehension and uh, these uh, software Lark, Zoom, Skype they can be used to interact with people from different cultural and ethical backgrounds that can help students understand cultural differences learn about history, science and social norms okay learning becomes more authentic using Skype, using Zoom, using Lark. 
Uh, learning becomes inspirational and engaging when it transcends the walls of the classroom. Okay, how can teachers make use of Skype or Lark or Zoom? Now, teachers can use video conferencing to hold teaching sessions with their students while being away from the classroom. Okay, also teachers can have guest speakers to talk directly with the students using video conferencing. Now, these speakers can be, for instance, authors and producers or other teachers, scientists, or even other students. Okay, and so video conferencing using Skype or Zoom or LARP uh, as a tool to provide after-school help to students needing extra attention. And so, for the end, teachers can connect their classes via Zoom or Skype with other classes on the other side of the world. See? Grabe ang technology ngayon. Teachers can make use of Skype for professional development, mainly by connecting to other educators and watching and sharing conference presentations. Ito yung mga ginagawa natin ngayon, yung mga webinars. Okay? Alright. In case of issues with the student, teachers can use uh, Skype or Zoom to hold a video conference session with a parent. Yeah who because of circumstance could not attend physically to the school. Ayan, so, pwedeng gamitin dyan yung uh, pang-parent-teacher uh, conference using Skype or Zoom. Teachers can make use of Skype or Zoom or LARP to collaborate with each other. Ayan, pang-teacher collaboration using Skype or Zoom. Okay. So, I hope that so I was able to share something about using um, online learning technology in the classroom. So, this is June Kahigal. Thank you for listening and be safe.